Hello everyone, my name is Andrea Moglia and I'm happy to present my poster on multimodal large language models for the detection of pancreas diseases. Learning to perform multiple vision language tasks effectively and formulating their corresponding multimodal instructions was a challenge due to the complexities among different tasks. For instance, given a user input to determine the location of the pancreas, there are several ways to answer based on the specific task. In the context of referring expression comprehension, can be answered with one banding box location of the pancreas. On the other hand, for the visual question answering task, the model might describe the spatial location using human natural language. In the wake of the success of ChatGPT, multimodal large language models were designed to combine images and text as input to generate text. Unfortunately, at present, there is no multimodal LLM for the diagnosis of pancreas diseases. In this work, we chose MiniGPT v2, a recently introduced multimodal LLM which exploits a task-specific token in the multitask instruction template during training to adapt itself to the different tasks. MiniGPT v2 consists of three main components. First, a vision encoder. Second, a linear projection layer serving as a bridge to project extracted features from the vision encoder to the dimensions compatible with the LLM, and third, an LLM. For vision encoder, we chose a vision transformer, ELF, and for an LLM, we chose LAMA2 chat with seven billion parameters. MiniGPT v2 integrates an instruction template combining the image features extracted from the visual transformer, the task identifier, in instruction in natural language. We fine tune MiniGPT v2 on free publicly available dataset for pancreas, with the goal of first locating the pancreas in a computer tomography scan, second classifying an image whether it contains or not a tumor, and third locating the pancreas tumor. The datasets are the National Institute of Health with eight two CT scans, the medical segmentation decathlon for pancreas tumors with 420 patients, and the abdomen CT1K a multi-organ data set with 1,112 CT abdominal scans. After preprocessing the CT images, MiniGPT v2 was prompted with VQA and refer task identifier for classification and detection. For each data set, we first computed the number of slices in each CT volume by setting a threshold, corresponding to the ratio between the bounding box of the pancreas in each slice and the largest bounding box of the pancreas in the sensitive volume. We ran tests with thresholds ranging from 0 to 90%. We selected a threshold of 60% since it represented a trade-off between performances and number of slices retained in each dataset. For pancreas detection, we computed the number of predicted bounding boxes with an intersection over union over 50%. We call this metric score. The fine-tuned version of MiniGPT v2 achieved a score of 0.68 and 0.76 for the detection of pancreas on MSD and NIH datasets. For the pancreas cancer classification task on MSD dataset, the accuracy was 0.87. By using the abdomen CT1K dataset on organ detection, the score was 0.47. For pancreas tumor detection on MSD dataset, the data score was 0.08. In conclusion, multimodal LLMs represent a promising solution to support clinicians in the localization of pancreas and classification between healthy and unhealthy tissue in case of tumors. The performance drop in the detection of pancreas tumors makes current multimodal LLMs not ready for this task. <laughs>